How are you, Benedict? I'm, I'm thirsty for a cup of tea, so forgive me. I'm just going to have a little sip. Whoa, that's really strong. That's a great, it's a green tea, but it looks like it's like a brown tea. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Something though. crazy is going to happen during this interview after that. Um, yeah, let's hope I don't have an anal prolapse. Oh, did I say that? Huge congratulations on the movie. To avoid any spoilers, we're going to do a big Marvel quiz. So I hope you've been revising. I'm really, I'm really not so great at these quizzes, so I enjoy them immensely. I've great. got faith in you. I can only fail better. Okay, the first one is, what was the Wi-Fi password that Mordo gave Doctor Strange? London. <laughs> oh no. Namaste? No. Close? Not quite close, but I'll give you the answer. It was Shambhala. Oh. Shambhala. Okay, great. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Was it Shambhala? It was, correct. First one. And now I know it, and I'll probably forget it in the next interview, but that's okay. But Shambhala, I'll say it three more times. Shambhala, Shambhala, Shambhala. Just every interview now, Shambhala, Shambhala, Shambhala. Exactly. You'll always have Wi-Fi now. <laughs> What's Wong's favorite superhero ice cream? Um, Chocolate? I'll give you a clue, because it's a superhero ice cream. He's green. Oh, Hulk. I'll give you that point. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A hunk of hulk of burning fudge. There we go. It took me so long to say that, you know, well, there was about 20 takes there. It's oh, a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> hunk of chunk of chocolate fudge. <laughs> I have to say it like him, otherwise it comes out wrong. I mean, I said chocolate and then I said hulk, so I'm close. I'll give you the point, I'll give you the yes. point. In Spider-Man No Way Home, what does Peter Three think the Avengers are? Um. A, a band? Yes, a band. Uh, pop group, I think. Is it a pop group? Whizzing through these. Think music. Oh, yes, they, a rock band. Correct. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. You're really helping me with these hints here. I'm into it. Thank you. <laughs> You'll definitely get this one. I'm disappointing every fan right now. <laughs> but I think they would, if people knew me, they would expect it. But that's okay. What okay. was Wanda's favorite childhood TV show? Oh God, I thought it was many. Was it I Love Lucy or... Uh, was it I Love Lucy now? Something with Julie Andrews? Sort of close, someone that was in Mary Poppins. Oh, Dick Van Dyke, oh, oh. You got it, the Dick, Dick Van, Van Dyke, Dyke show. show. Right, okay, yeah, I, did, I didn't quite get it, but you, you, thank you, you've definitely helped me get that answer. The uh, Dick Van Dyke show. We got it, we got it. That, I know anything about myself. <laughs> I'd be concerned if you didn't get that one. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Which other shows have you been binging recently? What have I? Well, I start. I've been watching Atlanta, not binging it, but because it's released weekly. But that's one of my favorite um, television shows out. So I was so happy that it, that it's come back, and I always watch SNL every Saturday, like a true old New Yorker. Uh, I've just binged Slow Horses, which was fantastic, and before that, I caught up with uh, the utterly gorgeous and brilliant and unique and just era defining Ben Whishaw in uh, This Is Gonna Hurt, which I thought was just again another masterful bit of television uh, from the BBC and uh, a funny, a painful, uh, really uh, moving and intelligent look at the very best and the very worst of our National Health Service. As we see it, yeah, I've been watching that with my uh, lovely friend Chris Pang. I've been watching that. Which CEO made a cameo in Iron Man 2? So it's Kevin Feige in Iron Man 2? No. Um, Bill Gates. Think Twitter. News that's just come from Twitter. Jack Dorsey? Elon Musk, really? He's in I mean, Iron Man 2. Oh, I've forgotten that. I've forgotten that. Oh, oh, Elon. Okay. Do I still win a prize? Let's see how the rest of the quiz goes on. There might okay. be a prize. The, the real takeaway scene for me on that film, which I just, I, it makes me laugh just thinking about it, is when they get stuck on the track and they're panicking in the car. That brilliant, brilliant interaction between Potts and um, Happy and just our father and um, Gwyneth is just on fire in that scene. And, and it's just so funny. It's so tense and so funny. It's what Marvel does best. Are you out of your mind? Better security. Get in the car! Get in the car. Oh, and also that well, the part is the party scene as well. Where he's getting drunk and he's he's using the blaster to shoot bottles of champagne over screaming uh, fans at the <laughs> in his house. Never gets old.
it's great. I, I love it. And I know it's not everyone's favourite Iron Man, but I, I, I don't know. I, there's no... Yeah, I love all of them. The next one is, which of the six Infinity Stones does Thanos collect first? Uh, oh, crap. Which one is it? Tesseract. Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> Space. Something that hopefully the green tea has just given you. Oh, it's really? power. Power? Was that a power I heard? Fertility stone? No. <laughs> So, oh no, it's all going. Sure, 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 sure. The Power Stone. We'll pretend that you said power. Oh my gosh. I see these movies in very um, wild situations that are usually premieres and I'm anxious and nervous and I'm hardly paying attention to anything. So this is, this. these are very challenging questions for me. I'm refreshed. I also didn't get the script to that film, I have to say. I never got the script. They only gave me pages for myself. Like that's not that's not the tesseract. What's the tesseract? The blue one. Does he get that first? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't because he gets that at the beginning of Infinity War, and then the time stone. What does the ancient one mix in Doctor Strange's tea? Monk fruit. S cinnamon sticks. She doesn't. It's just oh, a little bit of honey. Stevia. Honey. Yes, honey. Yeah. We got there. We got there. I was going for something that was a bit more. Um, I don't know, exciting than the obvious, but um, I, I'm glad we got there. You'll definitely know this one for sure. sure. Sure, sure, sure. What was the name of the country where Wanda comes from? Estonia. No, it's made up. Um, <laughs> oh, pass. Sokovia. Imagine if you got that one wrong. I say that word a lot, so I, I there's no way. Shambhala. It begins with an S. Sokovia? Yes. The problem with me is I probably thought that was a real country. Um, that's why I said Estonia. I think it might be a made up country, which obviously Estonians, I, please forgive me. Um, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, okay. I kind of got that. How weird, my brain is retentive, but it did need a lot of prompting from you, so thank you. What elective class did Phil take on Asgard? Frisbee. Uh, Think language. Psychology. Oh, um, Italian. No, but that would be Great. that would be pretty cool. These are tough questions. They really are. Yeah, I I'm know. Really your knowledge, so I'm sorry. It was actually learning to speak Groot. Sure. And is that just I am Groot, right? This is actually a really tricky one. Right. What does Shield stand for in the MCU? Stop hating individuals. <laughs> Except. Um... <laughs> Uh, live, um, um, d d d uh, um, d um, I don't know, I'm sorry. S super hero investigative emergency dome. I would love it if it stood for that. Yes. I would love that, but unfortunately, right. it's Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. That's it's a, a really hard question. I'm really challenging you with these. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is great. This is great. I, these are actually, I, I'm in, really enjoying it. Hopefully you'll get this one. Please. Who does Tony Stark invite to his wedding mid-battle in Infinity War? Um, <laughs> Spider-Man. <clears throat> right, can you edit all of those now and just make them about, I think I've got, got about four or five right answers there. I nailed it. You've got some yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I got the two that were about myself. I do my own homework. I don't do other people's homework. And that's fair enough. You put Elizabeth and the other Benedict to shame. You smash that. It's not difficult to do. They don't watch these films. They just do them and go home and live a proper life. I, on the other hand, am pretty sad and I watch these films. This is Hits Radio.